What's up guys, this is Pro Warriors. Nintendo Switch is one of the best handed gaming system with the help of Skyline Edge 69 which is the Nintendo Switch emulator. You can run any Nintendo Switch games on your Android phone and it's completely free. Today's video is our step by step tutorial and in this video we will cover how to install Skyline Edge 69 emulator, initial setup guide, install product keys and title keys, configure settings and controls at the last game installation and test please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell button We all know Skyline is one of the best open source Nintendo Switch emulator. Previous video, I tried the official version of Skyline emulator. Now I'm gonna try the advanced version which is named as Skyline Edge. Skyline Edge is a little bit improved version which seems higher appears and can run latest games smoothly. Skyline Edge 69 that it comes with an inbuilt controller. So you do need an actual controller to play the games. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to download the Skyline Edge 69 application on our Android phone. To download this application, all we have to do is to go to your Chrome browser and type on the search bar Skyline Edge 69 emulator. There is an option download Skyline Edge v69 or go to the description of this video and open the Discord link. Please join our Discord server where I have already shared the Google Drive link of Skyline Edge. When the download is complete, install the application. If you already have Skyline official version, it will ask you to update the app. It's a very teeny app so it will install within a few seconds. When the installation is complete, launch the app. When the app is open, it will ask you to select a folder or direction from which it will automatically run games. In the file manager, go to your internal storage and just create a new folder with a name like Skyland as I create here. You can see I'm creating three more folders inside the Skyland folder for GPU drivers, product and title keys and game rooms. Now get inside the game folder then click on use this folder which is at the bottom of the page and it will allow Skyline to get access this folder. Now click on the gear icon in the top left corner then you can see two options product keys and title keys. You have to download this folder by yourself. You can see I have already downloaded and pasted both files in the key folder. You might be wondering where I get this keys. You can easily find and download this just open your chrome browser and google it. Sorry to say I can share any direct link. You can join our discord server for more information. I would like to help you there. To install the product keys tap on the product key Keys, navigate to the keys folder and select the product key. It will immediately show a note you successfully imported keys. The same way you have to install the title keys. Now we have to download game ROM. Before downloading any ROMs, make sure that games are playable in a Skyline or not. I have given a link in the description. Go to the link, you will get a Skyline compatibility list. There you will find thousands of games that can be played on Skyline emulator. Again, I'm sorry because I can't share in the link related down source. If you want to download any games, just select a game from Skyline compatibility game list then search for the NSP ROM of that game. There are several sources where you will get NSP ROMs for Skyline emulator. You can join our discord server. If you need any help, I would like to help you. One important thing, make sure after downloading, extract the file if it's in GIF format and then move all the files file from download folder or any other folder into the game folder you have created for Skyline emulator. Now go back to the Skyline emulator. If it's not showing any games, just save up. It will immediately show all games you added to the game folder. Now let's configure settings and controls. Again click on the camera icon and scroll down. 
enable all of show game information it will indicate the game you are playing then scroll down if your device is not good enough then make sure disabled or unmarked the use docked mode if you want to see the real time appears during gameplay then enable show performance statistics you can also enable the use maximum display refresh rates it will boost the refresh rate up to 60 hertz here is option for screen orientation aspect ratio you can also try this option there is another option gpu drive configuration i will drop the gpu driver link in the description from there you will find all types of gpu according to the chipset only snapdragon processor supports this uh, gpu driver configuration i'm using mali so i don't have any option for that if you scroll down then you will get configure controller click on edit on screen controller layout i like the skyland emulator for the customization option of controls you can increase or decrease the size of layout there is option for opacity toggle mode you can also move keys to your desired location you can set custom colors so i would like to keep 10 on 10 to the skyland edge 69 controllers now let's go back to the main screen of skyland edge 69 and let's see how skyland edge run the games you can see i'm playing nintendo switch games on skyland edge 69 i tried all of the emulators for nintendo switch personally i like skyland edge 69 because it's giving decent appears and gameplay is smooth good performance in low end device so that's it if you think this video is useful please like and subscribe to our channel no more today see you in the next video take care